Hello racers, Brewster here with InstaTorque. One of the most unique features of Aptera, of which there are many, is the in-wheel motors. In June 2022, it was announced that Aptera Motors struck a deal with Alafe Propulsion Technologies, where an Alafe will supply the in-wheel motors. The deal is worth an unspecified few hundred million euros, with plans to create a 160,000 square foot R&D and production facility. Ramping up production to 100,000 units per year in Slovenia, and later expanding production to the United States. So, who is Alafe? In short, the company was formed in 2006 and is the industry leader in high-performance in-wheel motors. The company operates internationally and is headquartered in Ljubljana, which is the capital of Slovenia. It currently has more than 250 employees, most of which are engineers and scientists. Now, what's the point of using in-wheel motors versus traditional electric motors? And what does it mean for Aptera and the future of EVs? Let's get into it. Why go for in-wheel motors? After all, traditional electric motors work just fine, don't they? The benefits of using in-wheel motors are many, especially in the case of a lightweight vehicle like Aptera. One of the big ones is efficiency. In-wheel motors are just plain more efficient than traditional electric motors. Not only that, but the efficiency gains for in-wheel motors are more significant the lighter the vehicle is. In other words, having a super efficient powertrain on an SUV actually matters less than on a small, efficient dream machine. The lower the overall consumption needs of the vehicle, the greater the multiplier on range that an efficient motor provides. And consumption needs are determined based on things like coefficient of drag, frontal area of the vehicle, rolling resistance, and vehicle weight which are metrics that Aptera just happens to be crushing it on. Let's get into how in-wheel motors are more efficient. First of all, no electric motor is 100% efficient. There will always be some loss when converting electrical energy into mechanical energy. There are inverter losses, eddy losses from the wires, heat losses, mechanical losses, and stray losses. The difference between in-wheel motors and traditional electric motors is that the in-wheel motors don't suffer the same mechanical losses. There's no drive shaft, gears, differentials, and joints. No matter how efficient gears are made, how perfectly they fit together, or how well they're lubricated, no gear is always better than a gear. Unless you're this guy, then gears are very much what you want. Taking gears out of a powertrain system removes those mechanical losses. Alafe has determined that its in-wheel motors are about 10 to 15% more efficient than highly optimized traditional motors in normal conditions and even better in cold climates. While both in-wheel motors and traditional electric motors take a hit in efficiency in cold weather, the traditional electric motor takes an even bigger hit. This is just another reason why Aptera is well suited to cold climates. Lighter vehicles in cold climates benefit doubly so with in-wheel motors. Because, you see, you're putting the motor right where you need the power, in the wheel. So what does putting the motor in the wheel get you in terms of performance? Well, how should we put this? It's like this immediate rotational spinny force that delivers peak power to the wheels. There's probably a better term for that, but it escapes me at the moment. Aptera Motors is using a custom, medium-sized motor from Alafe, which is tailored to the vehicle's needs. Each motor is 50 kilowatts, or 67 horsepower. This power output was selected because it gets the vehicle the greatest efficiency band at highway speeds and provides excellent acceleration. That's 0 to 60 in 5.5 seconds on the dual motor front wheel drive, and 0 to 60 in 3.5 seconds on the tri-motor all wheel drive. And as Jay Leno has said, horsepower cures a lot of problems. A lot of problems. Delivering high torque to the motors instantly is freaking awesome because it makes the vehicle incredibly responsive, maneuverable, and just plain fun to drive. Need to accelerate up a hill from a standstill? No problem. In a bind and need to accelerate quickly from 20 to 40 in the city or 60 to 80 on the highway? High torque's got your back. Need to take a tight corner like a pro racer? Okay then, just go for it. And while you're at it, don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps the channel. Maneuverability is greatly improved with torque vectoring. In a nutshell, torque vectoring is biasing the power output to specific wheels. Providing more power to the front left wheel and less to the front right means Aptera can do a tighter right turn into, for example, a parking spot. It also means the vehicle can be steered on cruise control without any input from the yoke. 
It also improves things like ABS and traction control, which is perfect for challenging road conditions. While many vehicles already use brake-based torque vectoring, this solution is incredibly sluggish and inefficient. Electric torque vectoring is done at the millisecond level, capable of making on the order of 32 adjustments per tire rotation. Stability and traction control is managed not only by delivering power to the wheels, but also applying regen force as needed. The result? Aptera is both safer to drive and easier to operate. Throwing the motors to literally as far outside and low as possible is good for things like stability and keeping your center of gravity very low. A common concern is that a three-wheeled vehicle is inherently unstable, but it is extremely stable when designed properly. The front-rear weight distribution on the Alpha prototypes was 6535 with plans to get the production vehicle a little more front weight biased. Not only is the vehicle just more planted, but it frees up all this internal space where the powertrain usually is found. Space that can be used for passengers or cargo or aerodynamic improvements. Really, it just gives the vehicle the freedom to be whatever it needs to be. As the leadership of Alafe has said, in-wheel motor architecture gives fill-in-the-blank freedom, as in control freedom, design freedom, or innovation freedom. Alafe's in-wheel motors are ideal for Aptera. They improve efficiency, safety, stability, maneuverability, ABS, traction control, and deliver high torque when you need it most. So, is anyone else excited to take delivery of an Aptera? Let me know in the comments. To save your place in line, please use my referral link in the description below to save $30 on the $100 deposit for an Aptera. And a big thank you to my friends over at Drive the Lightning for the coffee. Thank you for your support. As far as this topic of in-wheel motors goes, we've barely scratched the surface. There's more to come. Do you have any concerns about the in-wheel motors? Leave them in the comments below and they may be incorporated into a future video. And for everyone who stuck around for the end, I've been working on a fun project for subscribers of the channel. Looking forward to sharing it with you this week. Thank you for watching and we'll see you at the racetrack.